far in lecture four, we have talked about what externalities are and what the implications of externalities are for markets and especially for welfare. And the big message is externalities cause a market failure because either they lead to overconsumption or overproduction, or if it's a positive externality to production or consumption that is lower than the social cost. Then comes the question, well, what can we do about it? So how can and how should a government intervene if there are externalities? And we will talk about various, uh, various solutions. Then we will actually start with a market-based solution that paradoxically is called a missing market. Okay, so we will start with a private solution and ask ourselves, well, under what conditions could it actually beneficial for, be beneficial for both parties or for the parties involved uh, in, in a market that, where there is an externality present um, to actually compensate one another and have a private arrangement that does away with the externality. And the second thing we're going to do is we're going to look at potential government solutions, namely a so-called PIGU tax and licenses. So we will encounter those two gentlemen, um, both uh, who were mainly active in the, in the 20th century, um, namely Ronald Coase and Arthur Pigou. Um, both uh, wrote some of the or proved some of the most important theorems in in economics and uh, and you know, are in in such high regard in the profession for a very very good reason because they 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 showed some very fundamental or they gave us some very fundamental insights in and and solutions to the problem of externality. Now let's start with, uh, with Coase and let's start with the so-called internalization. So we said at the start of this series of video that the problem with externalities is that the party that causes the externality does not internalize that externality. So in the case of pollution, it meant that the firm that pollutes does not pay for the damage that pollution causes for others. So it does not internalize the costs that uh, that firm's pollution has on other participants in the market. And so the question is, can we, through private negotiation or government action, can we get parties that cause an externality to internalize that externality. Is that possible? Okay. Um, and what it comes down to is, when you look at the examples we had, is can we, for example, force the, the smoker to pay the non-smoker and compensate them? Or could we have a, the opposite scenario where the non-smoker pays the smoker to smoke less, or where the fisherman pays the steel producer to, to, to reduce pollution, which sounds now like, a, like strange examples. You know, our moral intuition tells us that's wrong, um, but nonetheless, it's useful as a starting point to, to, to think about under what conditions a private negotiation that, that comes to an efficient solution is actually possible. And then in a second step, we can think about, well, what are the limitations? So that's, that's what we're gonna do in the next uh, slides and then also in, in, in following video. So we're gonna start by uh, looking at the Coase theorem. And the Coase theorem tells us the following, that the problem of externalities can be solved privately, so without government intervention, when two important conditions are met. So the first one is that 
there must be well-defined property rights. So for example, the property right uh, to clean air or clean water, or the property right to fish as much as you want or to food as much as you want. But these property rights, no matter which side of the market holds them, they have to be well-defined, right? It has to be very clear who owns the right to do what. That's what we mean by property rights here. The, the second thing is that bargaining must be costless. So, so people, uh, market participants uh, need to have full information about, you know, the, 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 the cost of the, the, the externality, the extent of the externality, um, and should not incur a cost for actually uh, revealing that information and, and, and then, then actually bargain. If that's the case, we can actually get a socially optimal equilibrium. Now, spoiler alert here, it's probably not in most cases that in reality we can get there. But again, this is a useful starting point because in many, uh, in many cases, we can actually find a solution that is close to a cozy solution. And in others, uh, we better have a government intervention because the code theorem uh, simply breaks down. So here, here is the graph that you've seen before, uh, where we have a, uh, a negative production externality, which means that the social marginal cost curve, the red curve, uh, lies on top of the private marginal cost curve. So, so the social marginal cost higher because of the pollution cost in this case, for the, for the fishery. And so the idea of Cosian payments is that um, the fishery, if the fishery owns the right to clean water, it can charge the, um, the, the, the steel producer a fee for polluting the water. And the amount it should charge to get to the efficient level is exactly the amount of the marginal damage it causes. And that, that's, the, that, that's the nature of Cosian payment. So through uh, negotiation, um, the two parties come to that efficient solution. And Coase, the, 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 the big achievement of Coase was to show that, uh, that if each party acts in its own interest, as soon as it's clear which party owns the property rights, if they can costlessly bargain, they actually arrive at that solution. And I will walk you in the next video, I will walk you through an example. We will use the, the example of a smoker and a non-smoker of how they would arrive at such a solution, which seems initially uh, counterintuitive that they would actually arrive through private bargaining without intervention at that solution. But actually, it, it's not the case so that optimal solution can actually come out otherwise as well through private negotiation.